In the realm of mind, consciousness, and the philosophy related to these fields, there lies the explanatory gaps. This term, coined by the philosopher Joseph Levine, refers to the challenge that materialist philosophy faces in decoding how physical properties lead to subjective feelings during experiences. Levine aptly puts it in his 1983 paper by stating, Pain is the firing of sea fibers, implying that while it makes scientific sense, it doesn't genuinely help us understand the experience of pain. This riddle-like explanatory gap has sparked significant debates amongst philosophers and artificial intelligence researchers, struggling to bridge this gap or find a mechanical explanation for experiences and qualia, a challenge often known as the hard problem. An interesting contrast can be found in the world of modern computers. Here, the behavior can be satisfactorily explained through its physical aspects, such as circuitry and software, effectively no gap. However, many who believe in the antagonistic concept of mind and body, mind-body dualists like Rene Descartes and David Chalmers, opine that conscious experience forms a different impact which calls for a cause outside the physical world, dualism, or an as-yet undiscovered physical occurrence. Dualists propose that the mind and brain are essentially and qualitatively distinct and the existence of a metaphysical element beyond the physical element beyond the physical is needed to fill the gap. They would argue that there are additional facts about conscious experiences which do not logically derive from the physical realities of the world, such as the feeling of seeing red. The explanatory gap is a matter of contention, with some arguing it just marks the boundaries of our present understanding of neuroscience and philosophy, which could be altered by future discoveries. Others, however, see it as a definite boundary of our cognitive limitations that cannot be crossed by further information, regardless of all the debates there is no unambiguous stance about the metaphysical implications of the gap's existence. Dualists who base their arguments on the gap's existence often posit that if our knowledge falls short, it hints towards a metaphysical chasm. Yet, there are those like Levine who tend to withhold judgment on this issue or propose that we should abstain from making such hasty metaphysical conclusions. They argue that even if we deduce that qualia are physical, they still pose an explanatory problem in the end. Even though the materialist response seems correct, it does not fully resolve the mind-body issue. While our current understanding doesn't prove that the mind is distinct from the body or that mental properties can't be reduced to physical properties, it does point to our inability to explain the mental in terms of the physical. Any such epistemological or explanatory gap may denote a deeper metaphysical problem. The non-physical nature of qualia, even if not proven, is far from being ruled out. Levine elucidates the crux of our dilemma as our inadequate comprehension of the essence of qualitative experiences. He underscores our lack of knowledge on if interrogating the nature of these experiences is even apt. Analogous to the unaccountability of the gravitational constant within the laws of gravity, he posits that qualia might either be a concept bereft of essential information or a natural phenomenon beyond human grasp consequently. Levine proposes assessing the need for a fully formed explanation for qualitative experiences. Underscoring the magnitude of understanding qualitative experiences, Levine hints at our lack of means to express the concept of knowabilities. A comprehensive explanation seems urgently needed, especially when consciousness only seems to surface in highly organized physical systems. Echoing mental abilities, this might indicate that cognitive ability results from organized operation. However, Levine disputes it as counterintuitive to chalk off the human brain's superior organization as a mere routine operation. Although materialism implies that everything reducible to physical fundamentals depends on AI mechanism, this reductionist approach doesn't link psychology to physical sciences instead. It leaves room for inexplicable facts that are deemed unrelated to psychological statements. Several philosophers express skepticism over resolving this explanatory gap. Despite critics leveraging it to challenge materialism, physicalism, and naturalism, the problem persists resisting any scientific or philosophical resolution. Indeed, even if science does bridge the gap to an extent, David Chalmers posits that this problem will persist.